So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we'll cover the best digital cameras. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Buying digital cameras is quite a different experience than it was a few years prior, now with the advent of smartphone photography. And we've seen an interesting shift in the market away from much of the lower end range. Meanwhile, DSLRs are slowly taking a backseat to their smaller, lighter, and more portable mirrorless counterparts. Even so, you can still find a dedicated digital camera that will provide a substantial upgrade in image quality, all the while not breaking the bank in the process. And there's plenty of options that'll surprise you by their advantages, power, and flexibility over camera phones. But the market for digital cameras is vast these days, and there's quite a broad range of options to narrow your search. So choosing the best camera will be tricky and a decision primarily based on your individual needs. You can opt for a point and shoot, mirrorless, or even a DSLR camera, all of which have their pros, but there's a world of difference between each in price, features, and capabilities. Thankfully, there are always some models that are easily the best among their competitors. So to aid in that search, we've compiled a detailed guide outlining the most important factors when looking at digital cameras and we've also compiled a list of the best digital cameras on the present market. Note, we've organized this particular list and this video by focusing on the top models in each category rather than focusing on a specific subsection. But with that out of the way, on with the list. Coming at number five, GoPro's Hero 9 Black. Released in 2020, the Hero 9 sports more power and versatility to up the standards in the action camera segment. It features a 23.6 megapixel sensor, 1080p 240 FPS, 4K 60 FPS, and 5K 30 FPS video. It also has three lens options from a fixed 27 millimeter lens to a wide 16 to 34 millimeter and a 19 to 39 millimeter linear. Plus it offers time-lapse HDR, live streaming support, webcam support, a removable lens cover and wireless connectivity. With this ninth iteration comes a new design and updated displays. Now the rear LCD is larger and the front has a live preview function for capturing selfies and assessing camera information. This model also offers the hindsight mode which captures 30 seconds of video prior, ensuring you never miss the action. But thanks to the 5K resolution, you can now pull high quality 14.7 megapixel images from videos too. So either way, capturing the action is now an afterthought. Yet the device remains waterproof to 10 meters natively, or you can up things to 60 meters with the optional housing, making it ready for the deepest dives humanly possible. Overall, GoPro's Hero 9 ups the action camera segment by boasting more resolution, features, and general versatility, and it proves action cameras are a formidable contender in today's market. Coming in at number 4, Olympus's Tough TG6. Released in 2019, the TG6 is Olympus's latest waterproof camera. It features a 12 megapixel sensor, 1080p 240 FPS, and 4K 30 FPS video. It also has a 4x optical zoom, 25 to 100 millimeter lens, live composite, focus bracketing, focus stacking, HDR, time lapse, a 2x teleconverter, panorama, and wireless connectivity. The TG6 houses the fastest lens in the segment with a supremely bright f2 aperture and by comparison it offers significantly better low light image quality and flexibility in dark scenes yet this lens also offers unrivaled macro capabilities letting you focus at one centimeter throughout the entire zoom range as such it's perfect for capturing small objects underwater while remaining at a safe distance away the tg6 also boasts class leading burst performance shooting at 20 frames per second with unlimited images so Capturing fast action or movements is of little difficulty here, and it also does so with class-leading 4K video performance and an internal compass and GPS for perfect image geotagging. Overall, the TG6 is undoubtedly powerful, and despite the lacking zoom, it's a brilliant compact camera that delivers functionality unmatched by its rivals. Coming at number 3, Olympus's EM10 Mark IV. Released in 2020, the EM10 Mark IV is their latest release. It features a 20.3 megapixel micro four thirds size sensor, 1080p 120 FPS, and 4K 24 FPS video. It also has a tilting touchscreen, multiple exposures, image stabilization, 
HDR, live composite, panorama, time-lapse, and wireless connectivity. The EM10 Mark IV uses a 121-point AF system with similar software technologies as their flagship EM1 Mark III, but it also houses a redesigned sensor, which is now identical to the acclaimed Pen F and dramatically improves its overall image quality. Like many Olympus cameras, it also offers a wealth of art filters to give your images a sharp but highly unique flair, but crucially, it's one of a few cameras in this class with image stabilization to compensate for handshake and produce sharper images in low light. Overall, Olympus's EM10 Mark IV provides a high-end professional feature set, yet it remains supremely attractive and quite affordable. Coming at number two, Nikon's D3500. Released in 2018, Nikon's D3500 is their latest entry-level DSLR that's aimed squarely towards beginners. It features a 24 megapixel sensor, 1080p 60fps video, and Bluetooth connectivity. The D3500 uses an 11-point AF system with Nikon's higher-end 3D and dynamic tracking functionality. These features let the autofocusing points work synergistically, increasing their precision. But crucially, the D3500 is one of a few entry-level DSLRs without an optical low-pass filter. This filter reduces the camera's fine detail, so without it, the D3500 outresolves most of its pair group in raw image quality. Instead, it offers image quality that matches Nikon's flagship D500. Plus, the camera does so with a class-leading battery life of 1,550 shots on a single charge. Overall, Nikon's D3500 is straightforward indeed, but it's a fan favorite given its exceptional battery life, ergonomics, and superior image quality. Coming in at number one, Sony's A7 Mark III. Released in 2018, Sony's A7 Mark III is their most popular release to date. It features a 24 megapixel backside illuminated sensor, 1080p 120 FPS, and 4K 30 FPS video. It also has a tilting touchscreen, image stabilization, dual card slots, weather sealing, headphone and microphone ports, and wireless connectivity. The A7 Mark III uses a high-end 693-point autofocusing system, which matches Sony's flagship A9 sports camera, and it offers full-time face and eye detection too. But crucially, this third-generation model was the first to finally debut the larger Z-type battery, which finally brings much-needed battery life to mirrorless cameras. But at 710 shots per charge, it holds the reins as the longest battery life of all cameras in its competing class. Overall, the A7 Mark III is a powerful powerful camera given its affordability and performance, and it's an excellent option for those wanting to jump to full frame without breaking the bank midway through. So there you have it my friends, there's our list of the best digital cameras. For more information on this list or to read the detailed guide, look at the pinned comment in the description down below and I'll take you right to the full post. I've been your host Devon Lennox, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>